And hello, what's up everybody? Welcome to the special reflection according to my theme for this month, which is Radiant Love. In case you don't know me, my name is Freddie, and right here on Faith, Joy, Glory, I dedicate each month to a particular theme. That means reflection post right here on my Instagram account and at least one video per month. I've been doing one video in June, another vi one video right now in July, and who knows, maybe in August I'll do more. But for now, this is my monthly video about Radiant Love, and we need to look at scripture because, of course, you know, scripture is God speaking and this is from the book of ephesians Ooh, you already know what verse i'm going to um to recite actually it's a couple of verses ephesians chapter 5 and it's going to be verses 20 21 through 25 and it says saint paul says be subordinate to one another out of reverence for christ wives submit yourselves to your husbands as to the Lord or as you do to the Lord Jesus Christ. I like the, the longer version of it. Anyway, for the husband is the head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself, the savior of the body. As the church is sub subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. This is where it gets interesting. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath, by the bath of water with the word. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God, and your Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The theme for this month was Radiant Love. And a couple of posts ago, um, here on my Instagram account, there is a reflection where I included the Ephesians um, verses that, that I just read. And it's very important for us to meditate on this because as men, my fellow men out there, it's very crucial as we go through you know this journey of life and this journey of you know of prayer and deeper union with God to really contemplate on what am I doing today to pre be prepared to be the right husband. You know, even if your vocation is you know religious life or consecrated single or, or something different than holy matrimony. We are called as men to lay down our lives. You know, we with women, we're equal but different. You know, we are both made in the image of God, but God in the beginning, you know, read Genesis, um, he created the male and female. And Eve was created from the side of Adam. And of course, you know, they fell for the the temptation of the devil, sin into the world, and then Jesus had to be sent to, you know, to redeem us. Now, men are called to imitate the new Adam, which even St. Paul in another of his um, verses here in his letters, he does call Jesus indeed the new Adam. And what does Jesus do? He lays down his life for his for the church, for, for his bride. That is who we need to follow. And why are we, you know, so why should we be concerned about this? You know, right now I'm, I'm single, I'm trying to figure out my life right now, you know, about to graduate, maybe go to my master's. I kind of date sometimes, doesn't work out, but you know, but I'm, I'm doing okay. Really? Are you? You know, I need to hear this myself because, man, I'm still lacking some stuff. But in my journey, I've learned that it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle each day. You know, every morning I have to make a decision. Um, how am I getting closer to God? And, you know, why not ponder on what can I do on this day to become a worthy husband? Because I'm called to vocation. Whatever my vocation is and whatever your vocation is as a man, you got to be a man who's worthy of of your woman that will submit herself to you you know what i mean like are you a man that's worthy that leads protects and provides and that's those three elements right there i gotta give a shout out to a couple of friends of mine one of them is a cease as my homie right there man uh, you're my dog thank you for you know a couple of years ago giving a talk about theology of the body here in miami as a church group we're part of and those three elements stick to me you know as men provide protect and lead spiritually emotionally and and physically you know because that's especially with, with christ-centered love what is christ-centered love waiting the good of others and lay down your life to bring your what your bride to heaven that's what jesus did and be a man that's worthy for a woman to submit her everything her whole life to you now for the women you know you're beautiful right you are the most beautiful creation that god has made you know above everything above 
anything else, women are the crown of creation. And what are you doing each day to work on, on you know, redeeming your beauty, which you're beautiful already, but you're redeeming your beauty, your beauty and, you know, protecting your dignity and becoming that, that worthy woman. I mean, I could talk all day about men need to become worthy and this and that, but women also need to become, in a sense, become worthy each day, more worthy each day. So, have you pondered, um, ladies, what kind of man do you see yourself submitting your life to? You know? And I know there's a lot of uh, controversy um, from what I hear about the Bible verse and people don't feel comfortable hearing about it. Oh, um, women submit yourself to your husband. But that's the way God created us. And the gender differences and gender roles um, and, the, and the roles in, for society and for the kingdom of heaven as man, masculinity, husband, father, and, you know, woman, femininity, wife, uh, mother. There's something beautiful that, you know, God has a purpose for that. So as a woman... You know, how are you going about working on your beauty and pondering more and more what it, what it takes, you know, for, to be a real man? Well, you know, what kind of man you see yourself submitting your life to, as it says right here. And so that's pretty much what I wanted to share. Um, the journey is not easy, but every day we have an opportunity to work on our masculinity and for the women to work on your femininity and, and imitate Mary more each day. You know, follow the virtues of Mary and... Um, and it becomes a little easier too when, of course, you live a life of prayer, the sacraments, accountability, because all of us need a lot of healing. Men and women need healing. So continue to follow, you know, men, Jesus. And you also have St. Joseph as my as I'm patron for this year. When a year St. Joseph, so definitely we got to be committed to and um, devoted to St. Joseph because he is the perfect man who provides, protects, and leads perfectly after, you know, of course, Jesus, who is divine, of course. And then the Blessed Mother, we have her, you know, to, to guide us. So, um, women, your, your, your gift of motherhood, your femininity, your woman, uh, womanly genius, and all of that is beautiful and is worth, you know, fighting for and protecting. So make sure you find a man who knows how to die to himself, you know. So, um, this is the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I love the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I love Artie of Sorrows. I have testimonies about her and of course Guadalupe but that's it for today make sure to share this video and let's live with radiant love we need to follow Jesus in order to live with radiant love may your future marriage if your vocation is holy matrimony or whatever your vocation is may your future marriage be radiant because the world needs radiant God-centered love heavenly type of love God bless you all and of course share this with others leave a like <laughs> Uh, leave a comment. Thank you guys so much. My name is Freddie and I am out.